Huhu. <lacht> the last um, two um, vlogs and I noticed that I'm not relaxed because of all the ams and ums I'm scared to uh, relax and I'm scared to let it flow and um, this makes me feel insecure and um, I'm not sure uh, what um, I can do to get out of uh, that misery. <laughs> okay, misery is a bit uh, too harsh, but um, yeah, I want to speak to you relaxed and eloquently and um, I want to be interesting and funny and uh, a lot of more things, things, maybe a bit cute, yeah, and so I um, thought of a few things. First, that I'm not um, afraid of pauses. I will make my pauses as long as I like and um, Yeah, and I can cut them or forward them. I like the uh, the forwarding effect in um, Vlog 10, <laughs> where I had a very uh, long pause and um, I forwarded it with the speed of four times <laughs> and it was still long. <laughs> after four times but I think that's okay I I should just yeah just I should just let it go and let it stream and let it uh, let it out <laughs> so my progress and progress in the last um, days um, uh, I had a bad day Friday I had a Sarah uh, stomach uh, pains and did nothing, but I did uh, something Thursday and uh, Saturday and today, so I'm um, in the middle of chapter f five, which is okay. Yeah? I've got the impression that chapter five is a bit boring because it's a bit uh, repetitive. Um, but I hope uh, that I that something will come to me to make it more interesting for everybody. Yeah. And then I'm plagued by too many ideas on um, videos, too many uh, topics uh, and issues to tackle, and. Um, much of my time is, oh, should I do this? Should I, I don't, uh, shouldn't I do it? And um, I did uh, re research on several of them, but I uh, couldn't decide if now is the um, best, really the best time to, um, to make a video or um, whether I should concentrate first on uh, the web novel and release the first chapter and uh, then the next logical step is uh, to do that uh, one video I already um, spoiled you with or hinted at yeah that uh, what is web, web fiction um, video but in the meanwhile I had so many ideas yeah um, I tell you um, the ideas. The first idea 
is very old and it is one of the reasons I started this whole uh, project. Um, it's what happened to Roseanne last year. Roseanne Barr, um, the actress known uh, from the 80s and 90s TV show Roseanne, did one, uno, ein, tweet, yeah? Only one. And the tweet was uh, some, something like um, uh, Muslim Brotherhood plus Planets of the Ape equals VJ. Yes? And if you're a German, you think, uh, yeah, uh, what? Uh, Muslim Brotherhood, uh, some Muslims, okay? And. Um, Plans of the Ape movies, the, does she uh, mean the original or the remake, yeah? And uh, who the hell is Vijay, yeah? Okay, Vijay is a politician and uh, she uh, is black or she counts as black. Uh, because it's not that obvious that, that she is really black, but... Okay, that's my opinion and Roseanne's opinion, yeah, but whatever. So, I will stop talking about the street and say what happened next. What happened next that was less than one day later, Roseanne lost her, her TV show and was ostracized by everyone and I was uh, totally flummoxed here yeah? because I couldn't understand it at all I couldn't understand the speed of it the severity of it um, I couldn't understand that uh, she got no um, no help from the other actors of the show yeah? it was uh, it was like uh, like a train accident. It wa you couldn't look away, and it was fast and horrible. Yes, and uh, yeah, I, I thought, okay, give it a few days, and everybody will calm calm down. But there were there were no few days. It was it happened. She got cancelled all around, banned all around, wasn't allowed to go on um, to explain herself. Uh, of course she apologized um, for it on Twitter, but she wasn't allowed to apologize on the network of her show. And uh, she had to go to Hannity Fox News to explain herself on TV. Hello? I mean, that's harsh. If, you, if you're forced to go to Hannity, then that's harsh. Um, thank God uh, Joe Rogan invited her and um, she explained uh, the circumstances of her treat and what it really meant and uh, had excuses why uh, it happened and I believed every excuse of her, yes? Yeah, I think this has, I, this incident really hit me hard and uh, to this day I don't know why it hit me so hard. So um, I have the urge to uh, speak about it, yes. I spoke about it with my family, um, with, with my friends, with my um, psychotherapeut, yes, with my shrink. And, um, but uh, I don't really know what, uh, what uh, the uh, core that horrifying 
fight me the most is. Maybe it's that there was no redemption. So I think you should uh, should leave people a path to re redemption. So um, when you kill someone, you go to jail and you get hopefully rehabilitated in jail and then you are, uh, that's your redemption and um, that's your way to officially to forgiveness <laughs> or to, to a new, um, to a new start. But um, I couldn't see the way to redemption for Roseanne. It was uh, one day everyone loved her, uh, loved the new show and the next day it was banned, uh, hated, uh, the mob was after, after her, the, the Twitter mob. <laughs> yeah. And it was, it was such a nothing burger. I mean, one tweet, maybe two, yeah. What's that? I mean, it, it wasn't even a real sentence. I mean, three words. Okay, brother out of Muslim, blend of the Arabs. Okay, three um, parts. And uh, for one sentence, you lose your lifetime's work. Okay, so I have to say a lot about uh, this topic. And um, I want to make a video about it because um, speaking is uh, thinking and writing is thinking and yes, uh, okay why I started this project and uh, the connection to Roseanne. The connection to Roseanne is that um, I thought it, I can't let um, this uh, mob rule unchallenged. I have to go to social media too, um, that the ratio of uh, nice people rises <laughs> because I think I'm nice and um, I think that I'm rational sometimes, yes, and, um, and I definitely think I'm not part of any mob, yeah? And this is the most important thing of all. If you're part of a mob, please remember your your IQ is only as high as the lowest IQ in the whole mob. That was a quote. I forgot from <laughs> whom, but mobs are one of the uh, most horrible uh, uh, forms of um, human interaction and um, I renounce uh, hereby <laughs> mobs <laughs> in all forms except uh, wish mobs. Okay, I think that doesn't translate well. Uh, a wish mob is a cleaning ut utility in German. Um, one moment I uh, look for the translation. Okay, it's um, just mob but with a P. Yeah, I can't have my um, laptop here because uh, it's too loud. Yeah, I think it really would be great if I could just look up words because sometimes uh, 
I, 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 nearly every time, I know the word, I promise you, but it just uh, won't walk over my tangu or won't um, visit my brain. And uh, so I'm stuck a lot. Uh, this happens to me in German as well, so I'm used to it. But uh, phew, yeah, it's even worse in English. Well, Roseanne, first, first topic. The second uh, topic uh, would be kind of comedic, yeah. Vegetarian terror attacks. <laughs> okay, really only kind of. Um, there were a lot of um, vegetarian terror attacks uh, in uh, the last year, years and um, in the history of uh, human um, kind. <laughs> and I think it uh, doesn't get enough attention. Uh, Islamic terror gets attention, terror from right gets attention, terror from left gets a gets sometimes attention, um, but uh, vegetarian te um, terror is uh, a taboo uh, subject. So um, let's shine a light on uh, vegetarian terror attacks. Hitler was a vegetarian as well. So the next um, idea, idea number three, uh, is fatso fallacies. I told you that I had um, problems Friday with my uh, stomach and um, whole other body because I was so stupid, yeah? I mean, we are, we are so used to fat people that we forget that it uh, should be theoretically easy not to be fat, yeah? You just have to uh, eat less, eat more healthy, and maybe um, exercise a bit, okay? That doesn't sound too complicated, theoretically. So um, I thought a lot about uh, it, um, why uh, <laughs> I am still um, fat, so, uh, and discovered a few um, errors in my thinking. And I called them dicke Denkdummheiten uh, or um, fette Fehlerfallen. Uh, let's translate this with uh, fatso fallacies um, that are um, pro problems where um, you have an error in your thinking and this error in your thinking uh, causes you to remain fat or get fatter. Yeah? Uh, so on um, first day um, I uh, gave uh, blood uh, to my doctor for um, for measuring um, diabetes and uh, this uh, diabetes value uh, is always a re reflection of the last three months so I thought like a real fatty oh I've just um, I've just got my blood measured, so I have three months till the next measurement, so I can eat um, 
Belgian waffles with chocolate ice and strawberries today, yeah? And uh, it was some time ago, still I last ate so much uh, sugar in one go and I think that was one, re one reason um, why the next day uh, I thought um, I'm um, right in front of the Crave store. <laughs> and so the fatso fallacy in this case is you think you're smart and game the system, but you're not smart. You're fucking stupid. You um, game yourself and your health, yeah? The system is, oh, I, um, if I now eat the um, ice sundae and the waffles, um, it's, uh, it doesn't count to the next measurement because it's so far away. Yeah, but it may it might not be uh, counting for the next measurement, but it counts for your body. So uh, you just um, are stupid. Okay, I didn't even I did. I didn't do just one fat so fallacy. I did several at this day, because another common uh, fat so fallacy is. Um, if you uh, did something wrong on a day, then this automatically means that the day is uh, lost. So um, I ate pizza uh, with sauce hollandaise and um, and uh, fatty salmon. Um, in the evening, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, and I don't know from where this uh, this um, thought comes because the real world doesn't um, doesn't work like this. It's like uh, you uh, get. Um, a speeding ticket from the police and think oh now um, my good record for this day is broken where is the next supermarket to rob and then you rob the supermarket and I think oh I doesn't like um, his face um, bang yes <laughs> and uh, it does make a difference to the law if you're just speeding or just robbing a supermarket or if you kill someone, yeah, that's a difference. But um, in eating, the fat soul uh, thinks, oh, um, uh, I ate ice cream today. Uh, uh, so the whole day um, is uh, shit. Uh, yeah, let's add a pizza to it. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I, I can't explain it where it comes from, but I, I swear to you, that's how my head works. Like, I, de I de do one uh, small thing and, and then think, ah, oh, broken the streak, let's do another thing, yeah? Let's change the topic. Okay, let's go to number four. Uh, number four. The Antifa is um, big in recent news in um, the United States because um, a reporter got um, attacked at a demonstration by Antifa and um, his name is Andy Ngo and um, he got uh, brain hemorrhage uh, from the hits on the back of his head and um, his camera was stolen and um, he got uh, milkshaked and um, And he was just there to uh, peacefully report 
on um, these people. And so I discovered this, that um, Antifa is um, a recent development um, in the United States. Um, that's uh, different in Germany. Um, some people even uh, think that it um, originated uh, in Germany in the 1930s. And um, the uh, logo, logos um, and slogans they use uh, now, even in the United States, are still inspired by uh, this time. In the 1930s there were uh, two red flags, one for socialism, one for communism, and now it's a red flag for communism and a black uh, flag for um, uh, anarchy, anarchists. Yeah, but, uh, but the sign is uh, still real um, similar and um, yeah, the, um, some of the attitudes are similar as well. Like uh, I mentioned the two flags, the uh, socialist and the communist, and uh, they did this, um, this united, they tried to do this united Antifa because they had uh, separate um, Antifa organizations and they accused each other of being fascists. <laughs> and uh, yeah, some things never change. So <laughs> the Antifa um, still um, accuses uh, everybody um, and itself of fascism. <laughs> so uh, it's nice that they are uh, such a traditional organization. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they really kept their traditions. <laughs> yes, uh, and in Germany we um, had some experience with Antifa, uh, which um, did not happen yet in the United States. And so I wanted to talk about it uh, to maybe warn them of... of uh, these um, experiences, but uh, you know, Antifa, that's such a pile of bull dung. Yeah. Do I really want to be my first uh, vi video with, uh, with a content to be about? Uh, those dimwits? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think Wretched Terror is the best. What do you think? Please uh, write in the comments. Oh, yeah, please write in the comments, but I have another thing to, sh to show you. I'm uh, working on um, getting more disciplined. I can't even pronounce it. Discipline? Discipline. Yeah. Something's discipline. Okay. And so um, I made a plan for tomorrow and um, this plan is written in cement. <laughs> I will act according to the plan. I show it to you. So it starts with with um, shopping and walking, then uh, some writing, some um, administrative um, things. A nice nap in the afternoon, some uh, stretching to wake up from the nap, another walk and some writing and yeah, some free time um, in the evening. Yeah, I tell you uh, how it went. Um, 
next uh, Wednesday. See you then. Bye.